Hey, Kings of Dragons, Dragon King 551, and we are back, baby. We are back with the Michigan Wolverines football breakdown videos, as promised, guys. I told you we would be back. Happy September. Happy August 31st yesterday. We got games. We got breakdowns. Let's talk about everything that went on. I'm not fully extended with the happiness, but I'm not freaking out just yet. Michigan Wolverines defending national champs should be the number one team in the country. I, As I've said before, you are one until you are beaten. That logic is just complete bullshit when it comes to it because fans switch on a dime just like ESPN switches on a dime in the documentary. Yes, everyone switches on a dime. They can't stick to their opinion or their agenda anymore. It's ridiculous because you're making the excuse with Georgia and everything else. They should not be one. They really put up good numbers. And if they had allowed Clemson to score a touchdown, it would have been pretty much the same score as Michigan winning 30 to 10 in their game last night. Pretty much the same thing. And ultimately, it is the way it is. But we are one until we are beaten. Some some mistakes, and I get it, growing pains. It is what it is. Let's go into the stat line. Let's talk about what went wrong for the Michigan Wolverines. So starting off here, let's let's talk about the stat line. So this is for Fresno State. I'm not saying they're a bad team, but he threw two interceptions. He got three sacks and one touchdown, and that's not entirely bad. But when you look on Mr. Wolverine's side here, let's talk about let's talk about them for a second. Uh, you got Davis Warren here, who's got 15 of 25, 118 yards, one touchdown, one interception, one sack. So not great, but it's all right. And then Alex Orgy's got one pass, three yards, and one touchdown pass himself. Mullins was the guy last night that was really dominating on the ground with Orgy and Donovan Edwards uh, coming up kind of bad. You know, it is the way it is. Uh, sometimes you just have those growing pains. I think Don will be better. Uh, as we go into time of possession and everything, let's look at this. So time of possession, 34 minutes to their 26. So we held on to the ball a little bit longer than them. Uh, 269 total yards to their 244, 121 passing, 235. So we lit it up. There are rushing yards, 148, nine for them. First downs, 18. Penalties, 5-3. Turnovers, 1-2. Three sacks, one sack. Total plays, 61. So let me go back here for a second. Those were the plays and those were the things that went the way that it did. However, um... You know, I don't really feel. Oh, pardon me. Got freaking got glitched for a second. I apologize. Uh, but you know, I just don't understand that whole entire thing that went wrong with Michigan and stuff. And again, here are the here are some stat lines, and then we'll get into the video. Uh, momentarily so again third down efficiency four for 11 two two for 11 no fourth down punts four seven penalties you know one interception and time of possession so in a minute uh we'll go into the video we'll talk about what went wrong there we'll talk about the plays and stuff get ready the highlighting is coming uh but ultimately i'm not i am not someone that really liked the way that this game went uh, frankly, I think that we could have played better. Uh, if JJ was still there, I think that Michigan probably would have been up like 45 points and stuff easily could have put up 50, but you know, it is growing pains. So, uh, you know, it is what it is, but, uh, let's get into it. So as you can see right here is third and five is their opening. He fires. And it's intercepted right there. A great deflection. That is a great play right off the bat. I love it. I love it. Here's some instant replay on it. Boom. It just gets tipped off his hands. A stupid play by them and nothing more. Orgy runs out. He fires to Don. Don walks right in. Excuse me, pardon me. That's a touchdown. There's nothing more to say about that. That's a perfect play. That is great. Now, the ball did get tipped off their hands a lot, but that's not on the quarterback for Fresno State. That's on the wide receiver. You can see some motion. Run run that way. Orgy's going to run out. They're going to come up. Big mistake, and Orgy's going to throw it right to Donovan Edwards. Perfect walk-in. Third and four. Here we go. 
Looking, fires, almost intercepted by Will Johnson in a beautiful pass there. Great adjustment by the receiver. Can't really complain. You know, it's it's a great play. Third and nine now, though. Look out, comes around. Beautiful there. I love that play. So, what you're going to see here. There's my highlighting, people. All right, we're back. So you're going to see one guy here and two linebackers, right? Now, they're not fully loaded in the box. But as you see, he's coming off the line. He's going to come around this side. He's going to take him here. He's trying to come here. What happens is that he slips. But on the other side, you got you got Stewart, I believe, who comes around and finishes is it, it off. Moore can't get him down. So what does Stewart do? He comes in. But you don't want Mason Graham and um, Grant here because their two are really good as well. The edge rushers were terrific and stuff. Now, this is the right way to play. See, Will Johnson right here is off the guy because later in the game, a receiver burns him deep because he's too fo he's too much forward. If you're too much forward, you're screwed. Over here, you got a little bunch set here and stuff, but just great leverage here, keeping your eyes on the guy, and then you got two safeties back here with two middle linebackers there. So, it is, um, you know, it is, is it, it is a great maneuver. It is a great play. I, I personally like it. Um, you know, coming around that side. Oh, slips. No, excuse me. Pardon me. But you know what? Stewart just comes inside and then works himself outside, gets right in there and says, I'm going to come over. I'm going to help my boy, and I'm going to go sack that man. Third and three. Fires, and just like that, number 20, bouncing him backwards to make sure he can't get the first down. A beautiful hit there by Hill. I like it. All right, here we go. Here we go. No one got to blocking punts last night, but that's okay. Is that Samaj Morgan, I think? Yes, it is. He's running. No, 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 that's, that's Morris. I, I apologize. I thought it was Morgan for a second. And you know what? Getting up to the 40 and getting us good yardage, that's great. Now we go into, uh, I love how they cut some of this stuff out. He's firing. This is an interception right here. The ball is just slightly underthrown. If the ball is a little bit more up, I can see Frank Moore making the play. But because it's not, you know, he underthrows the ball. It's not a bad pass, but he threw it into triple coverage. And you see how the, the ball, look, he's got him, he's got him. He's waiting just too long to throw it. And, you know, I mean... The, the, he can't make a play on him. Now, it looked like there was a little shoving, but I'm not going to throw a flag because of that because everyone is going and everything. But you know what? I mean, it is the way it is, and um, you got to chill with it and stuff. Sometimes you just can't jibe. Donovan Edwards not really doing a lot. Um, You know, he's not going through the hole properly, and, you know, it's, it is what it is. A sack. My goodness, just shot through the gap. Not really great there. Shooting through the gap like that. You you know, you gotta you gotta block. And I, I get it. They're they're going the offensive line. Fires and got it. And see, you're just beat and stuff. And it happens, you know, it happens. I'm not saying the defense is bad, but come on, man. You gotta stay with your guy. And it's good. So seven three. All right, let's see if we can bounce back here. Gives an end and around play. Donovan Edwards trying to get the edge, not nowhere to run, and that just that just blows. I mean, I, I don't even understand what's going on with Donnie right now. He's not doing well. Uh, this one though, I mean, again, a stupid play instead of firing deep, and you know, I mean, it's good. But you know what? I'm feeling that Daniel Jones type thing where Davis Warren is another field goal. Here we go. Kicking a 52, a 55 yarder, um, 53, actually, they say. And it's good. But uh, making it 13-3. I don't know. I'm feeling that Daniel Jones vibe where he's just closing in and looking on one guy. He's not going through his progressions. But again, there are there they excuse me, they are going to get better. And another sack. Yes. Benny is there. Rashad Benny. I mean, just coming off the edge. Look, here, here we go again, man. I mean, a screen. No, light him up, baby. Stewart again with a nice blow up play there. I love it. And another field goal. Wonderful. 
I mean, that's just horrible. That's just horrible as a team. You're kicking field goals constantly. Here comes a running play. Boom, he's hit behind the line. Yeah, man. Rodler, I, I like him. I mean, load in the box? No. I mean, oh, here comes Stewart. Oh, my Lord. And there you go. Will Johnson just gets beat and stuff. I told you um, you're playing too much up. Oh, and the guy is cramping. What a shame. But, you know, it is what it is. He's rolling out. He's looking. He fires, and it's caught. You know, that defense has got to step up better. I mean, they, they're not doing it. Oh, my God. Load in the box with, like, at least seven players. Look out, screen, um, man, slips on the turf, and he just walks right in. That cannot happen against Texas. That cannot happen against the University of Texas. Oh, man. Problems, I mean, you know, stop, dude, running that way. I mean, annoying as it may seem, but. You know, it is what it is. Then the flags happened late and stuff, which was so stupid, and we had three interceptions on it, but come on, man. Even I'm pissed off. That, that that fan is annoyed and frustrated. I would be, too. We're the defending national champs, and we're playing like dog shit. But again, I think Georgia started off slow when they were defending national champs as well. And, you know, I mean, we're going to see we're gonna see much improvement. I, I believe Moore is a good um coach and stuff. Uh, gives it off to Mullins. Mullins has got a hole. He's got a big hole. Yeah, and he's running more. Yeah, go, baby, go. I like Mullins. I think he's the better running back right now. Donovan Edwards can do his thing, but come on, man. Mullins running. Mullins slipping through. A knife through butter. Yes, another play for Mullins. We're going to fire to Loveland. Our best tight ends. Touchdown. It's good. A touchdown for us. Finally. I mean, we get into the end zone. You've got to play that. you got to play there. Colston Loveland, he is getting into the end zone. You know, he's our best receiver right now. Our receivers just couldn't get separation. And, you know, we got to do better. And uh, hopefully um, we will. Now, I don't know what that ad was, but get ready. There might be an ad coming. No, there isn't. All right, we're cutting out. Oh, and a pick by Will Johnson. Blazing speed down the sideline. Will he score? Yes, he will. That is good. Night, 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 baby. Touchdown, Michigan. Sayonara. You see that he just jumps the little tiny wide receiver screen the same way Mikey Sainer still did against Rutgers and everything. And he says, good night. I'm running the other direction, and I'm going to go win, Um, go close out the game for us. And that pretty much happens. Look out, hit. Boom. Oh, man, bouncing off the hit. You know, I mean, two minutes left in the game. Here we go. Pretty much the game is over, though. Sack time, Stewart. Now, I'm not saying the two-minute warning made it the game slower, but it did. There's the knee, knee down. War has the ball. And, uh, you know, that's the end of the game. And uh, that is how... That is how the game ends under the lights when they are the brightest. Uh, next week, it is a 12 o'clock game, so I'll be watching that. Hopefully, our team can dominate. I got nothing more to say for Michigan. Go blue. Um, hail to the victors. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. And that's all I really got to say to you. Don't forget to stay radical.